In this tutorial we're going to expand on some of the previous tutorials with paint and screenshots and we're going to draw an arrow on our screenshot or on our picture instead of the text like we did in the last tutorial. So we're going to click the start button and go to all programs and accessories and paint. Now we've got our paint program open again. We'll go ahead and open up a screenshot. So we'll go to the menu button and we'll go to open and we'll see all of our previous screenshots from the previous tutorials. You can open any picture here. You don't have to open one that we've been working on before. If you weren't paying attention to our previous tutorials, you can open a sample picture or whatever. So we're going to open up our screenshot with text on it, which is the one that we did in our last tutorial. So we'll go ahead and highlight that and click open. And we'll go ahead and scroll it down so we can see where we had typed in the word start button previously. So what we want to do is go ahead and draw an arrow this time instead of putting text in. So what we want to do is go ahead and find the arrow or the shapes tool. So these are all the different shapes. In fact, there's even more in there. There's a little heart and a lightning bolt. Uh, all these shapes are things that we can add to the picture. Uh, what I want to do is point at the start button since we illustrated it with text before. So what we want to do is find an arrow that matches where we want to point. If we were going to point at something on this side of the screen, we might take an arrow that points to the left. If we're going to do something on this side of the screen, we might take an arrow that points to the right. But I want to choose a down arrow since I'm going to point down at that start button. So we'll go ahead and click the down arrow shape tool. And then when I move my mouse cursor out here, I can drop that by just clicking somewhere on the screen and dragging. And that makes the arrow. And as I move around the drag, the drag changes the shape of the arrow. So I can make it fat or I can make it thin or tall. I just want a nice thin arrow. I'll make it a little bit long. And when I let go of the left button, it locks in at that size. So what we want to do is go ahead and move that. When I move the mouse cursor over the edge of that box, you can see I get the four arrow cross, which is the move tool. And when I click down, I can move my arrow around without changing its shape. So I want to go ahead and point kind of at the start button. So I'll just move it into this area here. And then when I let go of the left button, it lets go and it stays where I put it. So now I've got my little arrow pointing down at the start button. So what I want to do is maybe change the color of that. So if I want it to be orange, just like the text that we put in there before, I can click the little orange up here in the toolbox and I could even change maybe the size of the thickness of it we will make it a slightly thinner arrow line and maybe if I wanted to fill that in with a solid color I could use this fill tool and choose solid color and it's gonna fill it in with whatever color is in the second box the first box does the outline the orange outline the second box does the fill color so if I wanted it to be red now I've got a red fill on the inside. And that's how you make an arrow. It's pretty straightforward. And that's all we've got for this tutorial.